TNA's video game deal, which was dependent on getting the national outlet, will be Midway Games. Midway officially announced the video game with TNA. The product is scheduled to ship in 2007. Uh, Midway is not doing very well financially, as they appear to have lost about $20 million in the last year. That will be a, a thing to talk about in the future. Midway, of course, most famously known for making Mortal Kombat. I was going to say, they were Mortal Kombat, right? And now NetherRealm is Mortal yes. Kombat. So uh, Warner Brothers snapped up a bunch of the Midway assets, not including TNA when Midway went out of business, and they snapped Bullshit. up Warner Brothers with it. When we get in the second TNA game? Like, they did commission it. Like, they, 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 it wasn't the case that, like, they weren't going to make a second game, but then they went broke before they could, and we got a shitty DS game and a shitty PSP game. <sighs> right after we finish the Westminster Dog Show will be our playthrough of the TNA Impact video game. Ah, uh, the full story with the suicide and being jumped and thrown to Mexico and whatnot? Yeah. Like, that game is, is, again, a classic shame. It's a classic good foundation, good base. The second game would have been much better, and they just never got the second game. Which may also be the case for the AEW game, but I don't think a person on Earth plays it anymore, so... Mm. It's got, like, 40 people. Even the stadium stampede mode just came and went. Yeah. It's weird, because, like, it's not bad. Mm. I guess people are just, like, if it's not a WWE 2K game, people aren't into it. I just don't think it was deep enough. Mm. Like, even if you're enjoying it, it's like, there's there's not enough game here. Hey, what are you going to do? Just play matches, I guess. Yeah, and even then, I think there's some holes in the gameplay that they need to, to, to patch over. They need to buy TW. <laughs> yeah, and just do a sim game. Yeah. As opposed to that weird sim game they put out on A mobile. proper sim game, yeah. Mm. Uh, Nigel McGuinness will likely debut on the Genesis show, either in the pre-show or possibly in the prelim. He wrestled Sharkboy in the pre-show. And also, Dave, not a debut because he was on the uh, Gauntlet for the X Division belt that PD won the belt from. So, Dave, do your research. Uh, there was apparently rumors going around that they were thinking of doing a Ring of Honor versus TNA feud, but that was going nowhere. That wasn't real. Uh, some notes from Bound for Glory. Samoa Joe versus Jushin Liger was originally slated to go 20 minutes, even when they changed the show around and added the Gauntlet Battle Royale they were still supposed to do a longer match. It's not exactly clear why it happened, but they were in there working the beginning of a long match at about five minutes in, the ref told them to go home, so they just went home. I wonder why. Do we ever, have we ever found out? I wonder, is it the kind of thing, it's like, we don't want to tell Joe to his face that we're cutting his time, so we'll send him out there and then cut his time. <laughs> Uh, Liger expressed interest in returning and they have an idea for a potential TV special in 2006 that he'd be a major part of. It's not a TV special, but he comes back for the World X Cup. Uh, there was consideration given to cancelling the Diamonds in the Rough match on pay-per-view when they added the gauntlet. They went back and forth, but decided <laughs> these guys were company guys and deserved the spot in the biggest show of the year. Uh, no, cut it. <laughs> also, the gauntlet even ended up going two minutes long, so... Uh, Jarrett and Styles will be both appearing on Spike's Video Game Awards on the, the 12th... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, time to find the Spike Video Game Awards for 2005! On the 10th of December, Rock is also on the show. That was the original version of the Keelys. Wow, the OG Keelys. Spike Video Game Awards 2005, Garrett. All right, we got 75 categories fucking strap in. Best cast. Was Keely was host at this stage, wasn't he? Uh, the VGAs were hosted by Samuel L. Jackson. Poor Keely didn't even get in. I, 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 just no. Keely, I, I always thought Keely was always host of that, but maybe he was just behind the scenes. Because I know the thing was like he did it with Spike and for years, and then was eventually like, what if I just did it myself? And then he did it himself, and it was a much larger success than it was ever on Spike. Mm. There's a lot of oh, Midway Games was represented here, showing off nowhere to run. That's probably why they they timed the announcement so that they would have some stuff going into the VGAs. Musical performances by Fifty Cent. Def Leppard and Missy Elliott. That was the year I believe 50 Cent Blood in the Sand came out, so that makes oh sense. God. And show appearances by Charlize Theron, Kiefer Sutherland, Jack Black, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Rock, Vin Diesel, Carson Daly, Donald Fison, Jamie Presley, Josie Marin, Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Carmen Electra, Natasha Bedingfield, Dane Cook, and others. <laughs> Ooh, others. <laughs> like AJ Styles and Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> All right, Garrett. Best cast, of course, went to Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. I've never played that game, and I think I still have it around I think I more. have played that game. Uh, best wireless game. What does that mean? Uh, I guess handheld? Which went to Mark Echo's Getting Up, Contents Under Pressure. Is it a, Maybe it's a weird way of saying mobile game? Maybe. What, what do you think? Best PC game, Garrett. Give me a guess. For 2005... Would you like the, would you like the, the noms? Oh, of course. 
You have Battlefield 2, Call of Duty 2, World of Warcraft, Fear, and Sid Meier's Civilization 4? Uh, Civ 4. Uh, World of Warcraft. Boo! This is your favorite category, Gary. Best RPG. Uh, Final Fantasy 12. That's not an option. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Jade Empire, X-Men Legends 2, Rise of the Apocalypse, Dungeon Siege 2, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, and World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. It was World of Warcraft! Garrett, best breakthrough technology! Mm. What, do you, what was it? Just guess. Um, the Xbox 360. That was, a, that was a nom, Garrett, but it did not win. Whoa. The PSP one. Really? Other um, noms were the facial motion capture in NBA Live 06, speech recognition in Nintendogs, and the Unreal Engine 3. Heavy hitters, a lot of them. Best multiplayer game went to Guild Wars. Mm. Best handheld game, Garrett. You're a handheld nerd. Uh, Mario and Luigi, the Superstar Saga. Luminez. Oh, yeah, Luminous is a good game. I've lost my play. There we go, we're back. Uh, best graphics. Um, God of War. Not a contender. It was Resident Evil 4. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Best military game, Call of Duty 2. <laughs> that's a, what a weird category. Best military game. I guess because I don't want to say first person shooter? Why not? Anyway, best first person action. Fear. <laughs> best, oh my god. Best fighting game. With contenders like Soul Calibur 3, Tekken 5, Darkstalkers Chronicle, Mortal Kombat Trial Monks, Fight Night Round 2. Those fight, those boxing games were good. Sure. <laughs> Tekken but, 5 and Soul Calibur 3 are there. No, those boxing games were real good. Best addict, most addictive game. Mm. We Love Katamari, Luminez, Nintendogs, Meteos, or World of Warcraft. I feel like it has to be World of Warcraft. Yeah, of course it's World of Warcraft. Best driving game, Burnout Revenge. Mm. Designer of the Year went to David Jaffe of God of War. Uh, best original score, Wheel of Katamari. Best soundtrack went to Guitar Hero. That, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> you gave best soundtrack to Guitar Hero. I mean, on a technically... Nah. Uh, other contenders, GTA, Liberty City Stories, 50 Cent Bulletproof, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, and SSX on tour. So they literally mean literally licensed, because all of those are licensed soundtracks. Yeah, it's not best OST. Um, best original song went to Maybe We Crazy by 50 Cent. <laughs> it's a big year for 50 Cent. Best supporting female performance went to Tracy Lords as Madame Cassandra Hartz in True Crime New York City. Mm. Rosario Dawson was also uh, nominated for that. Um, best performance by a human female. Hey, please read that category again. Best performance by a human female. As opposed to what? Best, well, best supporting female performance doesn't specify human. That's true. It could be a dog. Mm -hmm. It's one of the Westminster Dog Show dogs, actually. Who <laughs> did the, the, the actual performance in motion capture for exactly. 50 Cent Bug Blood in the Sand. Excuse me, it was bulletproof. It was a bulletproof, damn it. Best uh, winner of best performance by a human female, Charlize Theron, as F Aeon Flux in Aeon Flux. You've never heard of Aeon Flux? What's Aeon Flux? It's a game that I've never played, but it was in like reduced sections for years <laughs> when I was a kid. What? Is it a game or a movie? It's a game. Did she win for the movie? I assume it's a, it's a licensed game based on a movie. I think she won for the movie. <laughs> Which is the reason it's human female, I guess? Maybe? <laughs> you know, the Keelys have always loved weirdly flirting with other media. Oh, yeah, it's the because uh, much like wrestling, everyone in video games is, like, very embarrassed to be in video games. Best supporting male performance. Oh, my, this is pathetic, by the way. Mm. Best supporting male performance is Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> As Gabriel winning in True Crime New York City, other other people nominated for best performance at a fucking video game awards: Eminem, Dr. Dre, Michael Clark Duncan, and P Diddy. Go fuck yourself, Keely. <laughs> best performance by a human male. Who do you think fucking won? Who do you think won? It was Jack Black. Okay. Other other noms: Fifty Cent, Michael Chiklis, and Sean Connery. The prospective voice actor in you is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> T.C. Carson was the one nominated guy for Kratos. <sighs> like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. Best game based on a movie. Chronicles of Riddick. It was Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Damn. Cyber Vixen of the Year. 
Uh, Liam, please explain to me what a cyber vixen is. A character you want to fuck? Is it like an e-girl? Yeah. Are we talking VTubers? That, that, there's a, a real weird world where VTubers are called cyber vixens. <laughs> vixens. And your nominees, Charlize Theron in Aeon Flux. Jessica Alba as the Invisible Woman in Fantastic Four. Tracy Lords as Cassandra Hayes. And Lawrence Bouvard as Joanna Dark in Perfect Dark Zero. There's a Perfect Dark Zero nom! Hell yeah. Uh, Maria Menounos, one as Ava in James Bond 007 from Russia with Love. That also ties us in. She is a pro wrestling star. She's worked. Exactly. Best team sports game. FIFA. Madden. Oh, American football. Fuck off. FIFA was not nominated. Bias. Best individual sports game. Mm. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Tony Hawk had lost his luster at this stage. Get off that bandwagon. Action game of the year, Garrett. We're in the top two categories now, so I'm going to make you guess. These are your eligible contenders. Resident Evil 4. Yes. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Resident Evil. The Warriors. God of War. 50 Cent Bulletproof. Uh, I'm going to stick with Resident Evil. That's going to be God of War, isn't it? And the award for action game of the year. Goes to God of War. Mm-hmm. What was the category I said God of War in earlier that it absolutely should have been in? Um, oh, best graphics. Feels like it should have been best, in best graphics, graphics. I think you said, yeah. And now for the most prestigious award of the evening, Cyber Vixen of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Game of the Year, your, your nominees. Call of Duty 2, Fear, Resident Evil 4, God of War, World of Warcraft. Ooh, I'm going to go with World of Warcraft. Your winner, Resident Evil 4. What the fuck is that? It didn't win best action game, but did yeah, win game like of the year? Yeah, it's like how the Keeleys now, they'll give them like all the other awards and then game of the year will go to like the one they actually want to give it to. That makes no sense though. Both of them are just action games. Yeah, but God of War is a better action game, but Resident Evil 4 is a better game. What else does it have? Bad cutscenes? <laughs> the only uh, Resident Evil I've actually played is 2, but still. Well... That was the 2005 Spike TV Game Awards. Jarrett and AJ are there. I think there's actually some footage on upcoming impacts of them at the, at the, at the, at the, the original. Actually, I wonder it's not what the they presented. Keyless, yeah, they were like, here's Cyber Vixen of the Year. Yeah, <laughs> Cyber Vixen of the Year. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett hits Cyber Vixen of the Year with a guitar. And AJ's just like, this ain't on the PlayStation. <laughs> we should add Cyber Vixen of the Year to our end of year awards. Oh yeah, let's add Cyber Vixen of the Year. The TNA Cyber Vixens. Never mind the knockouts. Yeah. Oh, that'd be sick actually. <laughs> yeah, we're adding Cyber Vixen of the Year to the year end awards. I don't know what it's going to mean. <laughs> like, we don't have a knockout of the year yet because we haven't had knockouts. So now it's the Cyber Vixen of the Year. Mm. 